Uh, our topic today is um, authoritarian uh, versus democracy, and uh, an incident happened yesterday in uh, Control Yuan in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and over some debates, uh, I'll let you uh, start with the details. Sure, well, I guess so they were, it says in the Taipei Times, they're just talking about um, some committee about anti-corruption charges um, or how, you know, they were going to set up and monitor that. And they were talking about some, like, lower-level politicians, how they weren't really going to monitor them because they were lower level. And then some other people were saying, well, you know, um, if you only deal with the small issues and not the big ones, then... You know, that's not going to be good. Mm. And then got into a fight. Basically, one of the men got into a fight with, like, the speaker of the control yuan about, you know, who should be talking and how he shouldn't be talking because he's the speaker. Of, he's not the speaker, but the... But I think the um, minister of the control yuan said, uh, well, you're not asked to talk, something like that, right? Yeah. Like, I didn't ask you. I didn't say you can talk. Right, because right. he's like the he controls the meeting. Meeting, yeah. Right. I think this goes back. I think the origin is from our five UN system. Mm -hmm. uh, the five uh, ministers. I guess five ministers. Is that how you say? I'm. Yeah, I guess so. This I'm not a, sure because I don't know This is much a, about like a thing. It's like a system in the Republic of China, from like uh, over. Uh, uh, like a hundred years ago, okay. when they invented this, they had the legislature, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I think it's like a, it's like a we call it like a test ex examination, okay. and then we've got the Ministry of uh, um, Administration, okay. and then The other two... Do you have a justice one? Justice one? Yeah. yeah. And then there is another Do one. I can't but even remember. But. Do I have an kind of No, no. Something else. I think we call them like legislatures. This is an also control yuan. Yeah. Uh, jurisdiction. Yeah. And then legislature. Uh, examination. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, administration. Okay, right. Right. And people say actually control yuan and uh, also the examination yuan should be abolished mm -hmm. completely. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I read stuff about the control yuan, I'm just thinking, why do you have one? I don't know. In most Western societies, we usually have like uh, the judiciary and then the Senate and then. Uh, the House of Commons, which is like the main house where all the politicians speak, and the Senate right. is like basically composed of older politicians who weren't mm. voted in, but they're right. just put there because of their expertise. And right. then the third is like a branch of the judiciary. That's it. Our judiciary has to be separate from our government because right. they don't want those two things to mix. It's kind of like church and state. Like you don't want those things mixing with each other. They need to be separate from right. each other. Right. Um, and then anything that happens in the regular house needs to pass through mm. the Senate committees before it can be approved. So it's not just like the general house. Is I'm sort of higher. right. I'm sort of uh, um, for the fact that we should probably mm -hmm. just completely westernize, mm. you know, our uh, democracy, because uh, uh, the Western democracies are more advanced, and uh, I think, that I'm pretty sure the control yuan and the examination yuan are from, like, the Chinese thinking, mm -hmm. but if we just really want to be a democracy, you know, why, would I, why would we want those two yeah. ends? And it just proved to be kind of useless. And, mm -hmm. Um, really the doing. control yuan, uh, I think this, the, the minister, is that how you say it? I think the minister used to be, I think he's like a Christian. Okay. And like, uh, I remember two decades ago, he was very respected by me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now? But now he seems just a little like authoritarian to me. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Okay, I'm still the father. You guys are kids, sort of. And yeah. This is something I don't like because mm -hmm. if you're the chairman or whatever, you gotta respect, you know, the members. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, that basically what the problem came out of was he was expressing his personal opinion when he shouldn't have been. If you're the chair of the meeting, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to express your personal sentiments on that. It's everybody else is talking and you're chairing the meeting. You're not allowed to give your personal... I don't know about... Sorry, I don't know about Taiwan's system, but I know in But Canada, we are very authoritarian for sure. Yeah. We still have a lot of Chinese thoughts, like the hierarchies and mm -hmm. always, you know, I'm more senior than you are, you know, I talk before you, and it's like bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, but it is part of our culture mm -hmm. that I think need change and um, so this becomes like a sort of like a comic thing now yeah. because they're not really doing a lot and he's made comments I, I think he's like I think he's let like his friend use the control yuan as like a wedding place seriously really yeah and a lot of the legislators, legislators were like bashing him and he said, well, we're going to come up with, uh, you know, like, uh, like a, f it's like a form so you can apply, mm -hmm. it's like an application form so everybody can make it a wedding place. It just seems like it's a waste of time and money, honestly. Right, but yeah, uh, yeah. and also a lot of people say we should just get rid of this again. But it's again with the like old thinking and the, you know. Right. Yeah. Mm, I, I should say it's pretty sad that uh, our societies uh, uh, still have this like, I'm older than you are, I must be more experienced mm -hmm. and better. Right, That's right. That's bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, can we just like be more like practical, pragmatic? Mm -hmm. Like let the uh, people that can do the work do the work? Right, exactly. I, I wish that, you know, there's a lot of younger people that do have that drive and that determination and that maybe they don't have as much, um, you know, I guess wisdom right, as some people. Right. But the, the fact is, is that the world is changing every day and right. the wisdom that some people have had that wisdom doesn't necessarily carry through because there's a lot of technology going on now and internet and all that stuff that they never had. So actually, in a way, our, our generation is like the first that was using internet to do right, things. Right. So in a way, we kind of have more of an idea of, of how things are working in the world than they do. Mm -hmm. And it's good to respect el elderly people. I think it's good to have the core <clears throat> Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a sort of like a form and respect of, course. of the elderly. Of course. But and also it's like a decorum that everybody adheres to. Like, okay, uh, it's my time. It's my turn to speak. Right. But let's just let the people that can Google. Yeah. Like, and just collect. Let the people can do it too. And maybe yeah. just use all the people's wisdom yeah. and advice. Yeah. But not let them just like be sort of leading because right. a lot of them are really just outdated. Right, and the problem becomes then you have an outdated society because all the people that are in your government and politics and controlling all the main parts of your society are old. So then you have a society that's, you know, outdated. But that also happens in. Uh, say Canada or the Oh, it United definitely States. does. I mean, it's not the exact same. Like, we do have a respect for elderly people and in business and, you know, in a lot of jobs, it's kind of like you have to earn your way. You don't just go in. It doesn't matter how talented you are. Most people can't just go in and start off right away. Well, I'm you pretty know? sure when I was in, in the U.S., I thought elderly people were definitely not respected. I think... Like, they were, the they person, were respected maybe. as a person. Yeah. If they're not like successful, right? I mean, yeah. It's like basically there is a lot of like That's right. you competition. Could. Like right. you basically still compete with the elder people, the right. only people, and if they don't learn, yeah, then they're like you could enter a job replaced. and be at the same level, level as an elderly person because they never learn what they were doing. 
it's true that could happen for sure there's a lot more um, I and, and I also feel this there is this bitterness and sort of sourness in the elderly people in the set so, like they mm -hmm. felt like left out oh yeah for sure if they were they, if they hadn't been successful and they were working at the same level mm -hmm. they kind of are a little bitter yeah you know what I mean that's true yeah so maybe it's not a bad idea if they are all dated they are all dated yeah just let them go and send them all to Florida they can go <laughs> they can go to there they can go to there okay that room. really cracked me up okay that's I'm just a good joking, idea I'm just joking. <laughs> okay bye bye